What's up, guys? Your boy JC. It's been a while since our last video. Um, and if you could tell by the title or the parts behind me, this is the start of a new playlist. Um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing, give this video a like, and leave a comment below if you have any questions. But there's going to be two parts of this video. Part one is going to be going through a um, parts list on main components for uh, bike carb conversion on your Volkswagen 16 valve, which I have behind me. And um, the second part is actually mocking up the carbs. So we'll start with that for today's video. And um, subscribe and uh, hit the bell notification so you don't miss the next videos um, that will follow this video. All right, so let's just go over everything. So first, of course, you need a set of bike carbs. Um, po really popular one is the uh, Yam Yamaha R1 carbs. But uh, I got a deal on the CBR 900R carbs. They're kind of mint. Shots to Dan for hooking us up with this set of carbs. Um, it sat on his shelf for years, and he meant to use it for a uh, carb conversion of one of his cars, but never got around to it. So um, we're actually just going to end up running it. Uh, so yeah, uh, CBR 900 are our carbs. So you want like a really good manifold that, you know, would ideally line up with the carbs. So let's do that quick check to see if this lines up with the carbs. So I think this is the other way. Let me just put it this way and check. So hold these up against the runners of the carbs. And yeah, you can see like it lines up like perfectly. So there's a couple ways you can go about this. You can hack up the lower manifold and build your own. Um, that's kind of extensive. I don't want to do that. But what I did was I went with a company. Um, they don't get any love from me though for promotion because I asked for a deal since I'll be putting on YouTube and eventually get them sales. So I asked for a par uh, partial partnership, but they they were like, nah, so no promotion for them. But you can go, f you know, do your research and find a company that makes this. It's not hard to do. Um, they also, you'll need a water neck solution because obviously the carbs are going to be in the way of that lower water neck in the front of the head. And um, so just do your research i found this i'm pretty sure like um van brenner sells one as well and i think there's a i think the aba one works too but just do your research uh comes with a gasket so that's helpful um you will need um couplers so i bought what i did was i bought like a a foot of this uh, silicone tubing and it's uh one and a quarter inch in diameter and you can see like it fits right there um i'll have to cut it up uh into uh four and just measure lengths later but that'll be part of this video later on and of course you'll need like eight couplers because like one on this side and one on this side um times four because there's four runners um so basically that is what we'll need for mock-up and we will proceed with that later but let's talk about like the rest of the parts that you'll need so you'll also need um well the way i'm doing it is i'm gonna do i'm gonna use uh this used MSD 6L, which I picked up. I also picked up this uh, Spark Timing Control 8980 uh, used and this TAC adapter. So basically these three with the stock Digi2 ICM ignition control module will wire up something and it'll run this, uh, this setup like magic. Um, parts that I don't have yet. So basically we'll also pick up the Carter Rotary P4070 electric pump, I think. And that will supply like the pressure needed to run the carbs. But to uh, dial that down even lower, we will run either like a Mr. Holly, uh, I mean a Holly or a Mr. Gasket fuel pressure regulator with a gauge on it. Um, and that will uh, call it done for for fueling. Oh, I almost forgot we will need custom jets. So I know what jets we will need for this, like main jets. But also finally, we will need like a wide band sensor to get this like all tuned up. For a good baseline at least, or like I'm sure we'll we'll dial it down with our with the help of our buddy Chris. So um yeah, that's uh that's where we're at. Let's get to uh mock up. After minutes of crappy cutting, you'll see I'll still have like some tube left over, but um yeah, my cuts are uneven, but will they be like good enough to run this well? Probably. So that's what they look like, guys. The carbs mounted on the manifold. I think that looks pretty good. Um, so for now, let's uh, 
disconnect the manifold because it's easier to mount them onto the head without the carbs on. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead to the car. All right, guys, so now we are in the garage. So first to fit the carbs, we're gonna have to take obviously the intake system off. The manifold, intake manifold, um, ISV, I don't think it stays. Yeah, it doesn't stay fuel rail. Um, I think the alternator, we might have to drop that down and we'll see if this coolant line gets in the way. Uh, but that's why we bought the water neck just in case. Um, again, this, this drops and take everything off. So without further ado, let's just get busy here.
Hey, let's go. Chris. Okay, so part two, Chris. I'm gonna need you because like it's wiring. Uh, <laughs> MSD stuff. Got you. But okay, so I'm gonna do them all like that. Makes it easy for me. Oh, it clears. Yeah, I'd say that's mocked, right? Yeah. How do it look? Bro, look at that. What a difference. It's like throw everything back on here just to see I like this little like skull here <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah so this for some reason I think it's like a little seized like the doors this is for the doors right no no that holds the bracket oh that holds the bracket yeah okay so what opens the doors because like I have like I know the There's throttle it's here that's the throttle the throttle opens like the, the door from the back though. It does, yeah, but those oh. open up by vacuum. Oh, by vacuum. Yeah. Okay, all right, so that makes sense. There it is. Take some beauty shots.
<laughs> Frick, well, one time he gets me, I'm fixing my head. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, man, it looks good, dude. That oh, looks really good. All right, let's check for hood clearance. I think it's going to shut. Let's see how much clearance we have. Oh, yeah, that's lots. I have a lot, bro. Yeah. It's all the way down there. Yeah. You could put, you could put four like, inch trumpet. Four inch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, it's awesome. Woo! This thing. Hey, look how sick it looks here, bro. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> What are those? I know. That looks hot. Rest in peace, like running this in the rain, eh? Look at that. Uh, it should be alright. <laughs> what do you think? They came out pretty good, right? Good. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it was the most nerve wracking thing I've done so far because, like. Woo! Yeah. Bro. Sick. Bro, I know. <laughs> Thanks for the help, man. My pleasure. Yeah. All right, guys, so there it is. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Obviously, there's still some stuff. This cash can will probably have to be uh, relocated to this side somewhere, kind of like Chris's setup. Um, the Obviously, this fuel rail will be deleted completely. Right now, it's still connected to the feed and return. Um, that's going to go to the new um, fuel system. Like We're going to have a fuel pressure regulator like sitting here. Um, we were talking about... Um, dropping the alternator to um this hole here and just cutting it instead of running it here we'll run it down here so that it's got better clearance we'll probably run a shorter belt some stuff there um all this wiring for like the uh what's it called oh the math and um everything else like that you see like those loose wires coming out of the uh the firewall that is associated to the digi2 will probably end up being deleted um yeah a bunch of stuff and uh yeah um we'll figure out wiring next so if you haven't already consider subscribing um more to come soon part two is wiring again part three is probably going to be fueling part four fine tuning and we'll show you like all the other bits and pieces that we're going to do